Good morning everybody, today I am travelling to Spain, our flight isn't until about 6 o'clock this afternoon but there's a bunch of things that we need to do in the morning to get ready, I'm out of breath, I just came up the stairs as you can see I've just got my brows and my lashes done for my holiday, so excited and the Winston is out having a last 20 minutes of fun in the sun before I need to take him to the catery <laughs> I hope that he comes back in because I don't know what he's going to do if he just decides to stay out packed my dressing gown to take to the cattery, his vaccination card, his dreamies and we're also going to take a scratching post because they don't have any because of Covid. Then we'll come back here, finalise the packing and head out to the airport I guess. This is one of our 2020 rescheduled trips where we're going to have a big family holiday in Spain. We've like rented a big villa and everything. My aunts and uncles are coming, they've got, all got families as well plus my mum's friend is coming from France. It's a really stunning villa, I hope I can do a, like a tour before people settle in and stuff because I don't think many people will want to be on camera. I cannot wait, we've got a pool, I've packed three books. I don't know if we're going to be out doing much like excursions and stuff I think it's just going to be more relaxing there's been all those easy jet cancellations lately and we're easy jet so fingers crossed that that also goes fine goodbye Winston you're going on your holidays I'll see you soon I'll be back and I'll see you soon we dropped the cat off cleaned the whole house and we've got one bag that we checked in the rest is all the cabin luggage flying easy jet and now we're all sitting waiting at the gate waiting for the plane to go on it was a bit of a, a trek through the airport after looking at the perfumes for too long so we're at the gate we're gonna board in about half an hour i think or we're taking off in half an hour so we should maybe be boarding in 10 or 20 minutes we've got our books I'm meal deals there. very exciting no. forget how much it takes no reasons we have landed we are in malaga we're just waiting for our one checked bag we had to show our vaccination status as we came through the passport control they checked it twice so make sure that you have your app or your certificate up ready if you come through spain or malaga it wasn't too bad we landed very well very beautiful as we landed as well i saw a little bit the window and i've read about 60 pages of my book we're gonna go now once we get our bag and leave the airport hopefully we can go and meet my auntie and my cousins who are already in Malaga we are staying in Malaga I think one night and we're going to go and have dinner with them and then tomorrow we rent a car and drive out to near Isnajar in like middle of nowhere Spain basically it's like hill country checked into our Ivis budget hotel here in Malaga we're only here for one night like I said I'll give you a quick room tour me and my brother are sharing a room and then my mum and my stepdad are sharing another room bunk bed style top bunk up there bottom bunk down there I just dumped some stuff we have met with my auntie and my cousins and like I said we're gonna go out for dinner so I've just got changed really quickly kept on the same top and I've just got these shorts on and changed into some sandals so that my feet can breathe my shorts are from as that I got them the other day because they're nice and long and baggy and won't chub rub and I didn't actually own any denim shorts so this is good this is very like dad on holiday vibes and then we've got like an extra shower room in there and then is this a toilet so we just got a toilet by itself and then the sink is in the room but actually I kind of prefer that because if one of us is in the shower then it means that the other one can still go to the toilet and we're not having to wait for the other one to get out of the shower if one needs a toilet I know love is based on honesty kept thinking how we love should feel knowing that it's not pretty pretty dinner I had patatas bravas spicy potatoes which was quite big actually and I didn't finish and a Caprahana passion fruit cocktail and we're gonna head back to the budget ibis and spend one night in Malaga. I don't know what the plans are for tomorrow I'll pick you up tomorrow. Buenos noches! Morning everybody, it is day two. This is my outfit today, just the same shorts and a different top. And I have not washed my hair, so I think I'm probably like gonna do something with it or wear a hat or something. And I'm looking very shiny because I've just put my SPF on. So it is currently half nine in the morning. We're gonna go outside for some breakfast, hopefully, with my auntie. My mum is meeting up with one of her friends in Spain this morning. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna drive back to the airport to get a rental car. And then we're gonna drive about two hours to a place near a town called Isnajar. Like I said, this is my first time in mainland Spain. I've only been to Mallorca before, but I've been to Mallorca two times. So now I can scratch the 
like Spain bit off my scratch map at home when I get home. We went out for coffee this morning while we waited for some of the others to get ready and now we are out for a sort of more proper breakfast. I haven't eaten anything yet so I'm gonna order like a fruit bowl thing. I'm sat here at this cafe. I'm quite hungry now. I think there was a little bit of miscommunication at breakfast. My fruit bowl did not come so I decided that I didn't even really want fruit bowl. I more wanted like a carbohydrate -y thing. So we went in the corner and they were selling these like empanada things. Had one with mushroom and like a cheesy creamy sauce that was lovely. Had that for breakfast now and we've checked out to the hotel because checkout is 12. We've got until 2 to get the rental cars when we need to leave to go and get those. So we're just walking around Malaga. I think the plan is to go and see a couple of different shops. We're going to split off into smaller groups. So I think there's seven of us when we're all together right now which is a bit much to be traveling around Malaga when we all want to be doing different things and I think my cousin and my brother are gonna go and look for toy shops and me and my other cousin are gonna go and look for Bershka. There is a broccoli walking down the street. Oh that, oh, that looks yeah. lovely. Do you never see Italian no, athletics? I've never, no. no you I've have, never seen this shop before in my life. No it's only online like oh. this is the first actual shop. <laughs> What's that? Excuse me sir. <laughs> Got our hair car. Very big hair car. Feels like a minibus. We're gonna stop at Aldi on the way and then have about an hour journey out to the villa after Aldi pick up some snacks and some stuff for the villa so that we can cook as well. Eva's first time in Aldi. She's so excited. Can't wait. I love a foreign supermarket. I think we may have to go shopping again tomorrow. I'm not sure we've got enough. We're 10 minutes away from the Finca, so I'm going to end this vlog right here. This was the Travelling in Malaga video. There is more videos to come on our time in Spain, including a really cool villa tour, which I can't wait to show you guys the villa, the Finca. So I'm going to end this video here. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to see next week's video, and I'll be back next time. Bye, guys!